PNS of the knee joint is a condition in which there is a nodular proliferation of the synovium. It is called as a pigmented nivellonodular synovitis and it is a common cause of recurrent effusion along with locking in the knee. So in this particular young patient, there is a large mass of pigmented below nodular synovitis in the notch area which is leading to locking symptoms and the patient is developing recurrent effusions since last one year. On investigation, it was found that he has a large mass which is circumscribed on the anterior notch area and we did an arthroscopic treatment for the same. So when we insert our arthroscope, we can see that there is a large mass of a circumscribed mass which is at in the notch area of the knee anteriorly and the mass was pedunculated so that it's a large uh, lesion which is actually pedunculated so the most important thing here is to identify the peduncle of the mass and that needs to be identified and separated once the peduncle is identified and it is separated we need to identify and release the peduncle you may need to do a little bit of retraction with your instruments to identify the peduncle and if you are uh, smart enough to just cut the peduncle off the whole of the nodule will become separate like a loose body in the knee and then so here with the motorized shaver system we are just removing the pedunculated mass inside the knee it is uh, this is this is the way we incise or release the peduncle so once we release the peduncle the mass will become free and then we can use an artery forcep to grab the fragments one by one. So here we can see that there is a large fragment which is not separated and it is like a loose body in the knee and you can use your grasper or an artery forcep to take this large fragment off the knee out. Sometimes there are more than one uh, nodule so we need to take out nodules one by one releasing the peduncles. The most important thing to prevent the recurrence is to release the or remove all the pathological tissue in entirety. So end block resection of the pigmented below nodular synovitis is must in these cases. Even if we are doing it arthroscopically, we follow the tumor surgery principle to release all of the tissue. So we will just grab it with the peduncle and take it out. So all nodules which are there are usually grabbed and taken out in entirety. The tissue which is pathologic needs to be cleaned off with the motorized shaver system in the vicinity of the nodule as well. So the nearby synovium may be pathologic as well and it needs to be cleaned and removed as well. So we need to remove all the pathological tissue which is there. So discolored tissue, yellowish brown discoloration, wherever you see you can release it thoroughly with your motorized shaver system. So we need to assess and ensure that we are not leaving any pathological diseased tissue behind. So that is a very important part of this surgery. So once we are done with this, you can switch portals and see whether we are you are uh, you are happy with the resection or not. And then you can use your radio frequency device to just coagulate the vicinity region and the peduncle so that it is not the recurrence chance are minimized and in the end you need to emphasize here that because this PVNS mass was, is, was in close proximity to the patella in the intrapatel region you can see the discoloration on the inferior border of the patella as well due to the PVNS tissue. If you have any more doubts you can write us on the